when you reach the high priced product level of your sales funnel. This is where you start to make some serious money. The higher priced item comes down further down the sales funnel here after your freebie, after your lower priced item, after your mid range item. That's when you're going to start to sell your high priced item. And in a way, things start to get easier at this level because you have customers who know you and are starting to trust you. And if you've over delivered on value with your low and mid range products, then people will know what to expect. There are two types of products that are popular at this level. Training courses and software or apps. Now let's look at training courses. When you have your training course, you want to have higher production values than your ebook and other videos. That means something like having a presenter talking to camera in the video part and music at the beginning and end of each video. 3D graphics, etc. Something that shows that you have actually spent some money in making this product. Now, your courses should be text and video based, and the text and the video should work together. So, for example, you could have video lessons with a workbook or a reference manual, and the whole thing ties together. Now, you can research and create these courses yourself. Or you can rework PLR or public domain materials. So you can do all that yourself, or you can outsource it to a professional. Now, when it comes to delivering your courses, you do have a couple of options. And the first way to deliver them is digitally, and that means from a site on the internet. Now, when you do it this way, the Overheads are much lower. And of course, when you do it digitally, you can update the materials much more easily. The other way of distributing your courses is to distribute it physically. And physical products have a higher perceived value than digital products. People think that because they've actually got something that they can physically hold in their hands, it's worth more than just something that they see on their computer screen, even though it contains the exact same amount of information. So correspondingly, you can charge more. If you're going to distribute your course digitally, then a good platform to put it on is Moodle. Moodle is actually used by a large number of colleges and universities throughout the world for um, distributing courses. So it is actually very highly recommended. And it's free and open source. And you can read more about it at moodle.org. You'll probably need to have quite a lot of storage space to store the videos and the digital uh, documents on, which might overdo the bandwidth that you might have for your web hosting account. So a good storage solution is Amazon S3. Uh, there are free and paid for versions of this, but the uh, free version does let you have quite a lot of storage space. And you can read more about it at aws.amazon.com. You might also consider putting it on a third party platform. And probably the best one out there is Linda, which is L-Y-N-D-A dot com. And Linda is actually owned by LinkedIn now. And there's all sorts of different courses out there that you can use. And you can actually start to uh, drive traffic to your course via Linda. It's actually quite um, a good deal. If you want to distribute your course physically, then a good company to use is Vivante. Uh, they will uh, handle everything, all the printing, all the uh, duplication of the CDs and DVDs, etc., and then send everything out in the mail. They're a US-based company, but they will distribute worldwide, and you can read more about them at vervante.com. Finally, there's Amazon CreateSpace, and this is great because 
not only will they print it on demand and duplicate it on demand, they'll also list it on Amazon.com so you can start to sell your courses that way outside of your sales funnel. So it is actually quite a good idea to sell via CreateSpace and you can find out more at CreateSpace.com. Now the other popular product at this level are software and apps. Now, if you decide to do that, your software or your app should solve a specific need for the customer and it should make the customer's life easier. But also, if you're going to develop a software or an app, you want to make sure that it's not something that's available free on the Internet because people are not going to buy your product if they can get it for nothing or download it for nothing uh, off of another website. Now, there are a number of different ways that you can make the app. You can write the program yourself or you can hire a coder to write it for you. So if you're not a coder yourself, then it's best to hire someone to do that for you. Now, the process is longer and more complicated than creating a training course as you have to allow for beta testing, debugging, etc., etc. And digital delivery is the norm uh, for software or an app. Now, let's just look at some software resources. If you're looking to outsource the coding of your software or your app, then a good place to hire a coder from is Rent-A-Coder, which you can find here at rent-acoder.com. And a good distribution platform for apps and software is CNET. And you can find out more at CNET.com. Regardless of whether you're going to do a training course or whether you're going to make software or an app, you want to survey your customers at this point to find out what they want. And it's best to do it at this stage in the sales funnel, as you can use this information to develop products at this level and also later on. Now, people on your prospect list may just be freebie seekers who are looking to get stuff for free. So they're not really the best sort of people to ask what they want because their answer is going to be, well, something for nothing. So after you've actually got customers, people who've actually parted with money to buy one of your products, then that's the best time to do the survey and to ask them what they want. There's a couple of options when it comes to survey software. The first one is SurveyMonkey. Now, this is a hosted solution, and you can read more about it at SurveyMonkey.com, and there are free and paid-for versions. Another option is Lime Survey, and this is a free open-source solution that you host on your own server. And if your hosting package comes with Fantastico or Soft Delicious, you may be able to install this from within cPanel. Otherwise, you can download the software from limesurvey.org and install it manually. It's actually quite straightforward. At this stage in the funnel, products can be yours or they can be affiliate products. If you sell an affiliate product, Purchase it yourself first to make sure it's good and to see what the sales process is like. You'll also be added to the affiliate product manufacturer's sales funnel, which can give you some insight into ways to improve yours. 